You know what? It's it's been years. It's been years. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to face it. Okay, yeah, no, back you go, back you go. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Piranha Comics for your weekly comic book update. If it's your first time watching, we usually just go through the number ones for the week and any other significant issues I can think of, along with any trade paperbacks that are new or I just feel like recommending. So, first up from Marvel, Iron Man Hellcat Annual. Ties into the current Iron Man series, so if you are getting that, you are gonna want this as well. The main selling point for this series for me was seeing Patsy Walker being used again. I do miss that character quite a lot. Jessica Jones did her a bit dirty, but she had a cool character arc in season three, right? Iron Cat number one. So if you've been reading Black Cat like I have religiously forever, you'll know about the Iron Cat armor. The Iron Cat armor has been stolen and it's up to these two to get it back. Jed McKay has done absolutely no wrong by me in the last few months, so you know what? Bring it on. Mech Strike Monster Hunters, a continuation of Avengers Mech Strike. Christos Gage seems to be really killing it with these alternate Marvel takes at the moment. Like he's doing the Fortnite crossover, which by all reports is pretty good. Moon Knight Black, White and Blood, number one, second printing. If you missed out, you know where you can come now. Obi-Wan Kenobi, number two. Number one was kind of a story about him as a Padawan, so number two is him with Qui-Gon Jinn. And my God, does it look awesome. How about that finale, huh? Yeah, you're gonna want all the Obi-Wan in your life you can get. Thor, Lightning and Lament, number one. Just a little mini series, I guess, to accompany the Jane Foster one. If you're a Thor fan, well worth your time. Ah, oh, the biggest release of the week. The Variants, number one. Haven't had a Jessica Jones book in a good while now that hasn't been digital only. Really nice seeing her back, especially with Phil Noto on the art. Come on, come on. I've been waiting for this series for quite a while, so I'm very, very happy that it's now come out. It's just a shame that it's only five issues, frankly. For DC, Batman Catwoman 12. Tom, didn't we already do a Bat Cat wedding? Didn't we already do this? As much as I can stand here and just tell him he's repeating himself, this cover is amazing. Look at that. It's even got the Dark Knights of Steel Batman up there. That's cool. That's real cool. This series has got on for a long time now, so I'm really hoping that I read this and it all ties together. Really hoping. And I really hope that the second wedding actually provides something fruitful. DC vs Vampires Killers one shot. So it's to go with the Hunters one shot that came out a few weeks ago. This is basically the second part to that. I'm not sure why they're framing it as one shots, but DC be DC and if you remember what happened in the first one, you know why Harley Quinn's the focus of this one as well. From Behemoth, Redman. It's from the creators of Ultraman, so you get the idea. Redman is a kaiju hunter. Again, you get the idea, you know about Ultraman. Buffy 97 one-shot. This is just a one-shot, so full one and done story here. For any Buffy fans out there, this would be a good addition. Hellboy and the BPRD, Old Man Whittier one-shot, or white Whittier. Whit it's always names. Continuing the long tradition of Hellboy one-shots and miniseries, we have this one. I know we have quite a few Hellboy-only subs, so you're gonna want this one as well. Pearl, volume three, number two. Brian Bendis is back at it with Pearl. If you picked up number one, number two is out now. I think there's only six issues in total. From IDW, best of Godzilla one-shot. Godzilla doesn't actually have very many comics at the minute. He has his crossover with Power Rangers and he has this. If you're a Godzilla fan, this is for you. This is all for you. From Image, Sins of the Black Flamingo number one. This book is not subtle, as you can probably tell from the cover. It's as loud and as raucous as you want it to be. <laughs> from Vault, Mindset number one. This is giving me massive Department of Truth vibes and I'm fully about that. I think it even has the same letterer. So yeah, definitely getting those vibes from it. It's supposed to be amazing. Haven't read it yet, but I'm looking forward to doing so. As for graphic novels, from Marvel, we have Champions. Obviously, Kamala Khan is doing some moves right now, so if you want to see her lead her very own superhero team, this one's for you. From DC... Yeah, I'm, I'm back on my Tom Taylor worship. I'm what? So, I call this book the dry run to Taylor and Redondo's run on Nightwing. It is just a maxi-series of ridiculousness, and I love it. 
everyone is so well characterized, Harley Quinn especially, because Taylor has written Harley on so many different occasions at this point. I love this book so much. From Boom Studios, Once a Future Volume 4. I know a lot of people missed out on it when we stocked it initially, so now we have it back in stock. If you're needing Volume 4, you know where to come. June comes to a close with Volume 3 hardcover. I know, again, I've got quite a few people who are waiting for this. Here it is. From Dynamite. You've all been watching Season 3, don't lie to me and say you haven't. If you wanted to read the comics that the show is based on, they're very, very different, but they're pretty great in their own right. We have them in stock. I don't know for how long, so check them out now. Similarly, if you have read all of the boys' comics and you have not read Dear Becky to finish it all off, you need to read Dear Becky to finish it all off. It ties a nice little bow on the story of Billy Butcher and Huey as well, actually. God, I do miss the, the nervous Scottish version of Huey that was based on Simon Pegg. It is missing from the show, but it is what it is. And from Image, we have a new OGN, Darkroom, from Jerry Duggan, who is really killing it with the X-Men right now. Most of Image's OGN so far have actually been really, really great. I mean, Reckless is one of my favorite things coming out, and that already comes out as an OGN. So if you're in the market for some interesting horror concepts, this is where you want to come. That's all from me this week. Please like and subscribe if you like what you've seen. It lets us know that we should keep doing this. Sorry about there not being one last week, by the way. Had severe technical difficulties, but we're here now. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next week for more new comics. If it's your first time watching, uh, we...